Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we are back here at our ruined castle yet again working on this thing and I am very excited to be back over here. It's looking very awesome. Last episode we came through here and developed our base plan for it which was very fun to do. I love doing those overview planning type things of showing you all my thought process. As you guys all probably know by now, I'm not the type of person to be doing a block by block tutorial of place block one here, place block two there, make it seven blocks long, and then round out the corner, do this here. I don't really like to do that. Mostly because I don't really know how to do that. So I don't really think about that, <laughs> that type of stuff when I'm building. I just kind of do things. But anyways, in today's episode, I want to take this another step further. As we started to develop out this bridge over here and get a loose shape and design for it, it was leading over to this hill, which I think this would be a perfect thing for today's episode that we could work on and make some progress on. And my goal is that we can get this entire side over here and our bridgeway finished up. I've been spending a bit of time on the bridge already, adding in some detail bits and seeing what I could do to make it a lot more interesting. So this is what we were looking at last episode. That's all it was right there. And this is what I've kind of decided to move forward with. I like this plan. I think it adds a lot of variety to it and a lot of life to it. I love having all of this moss stone in there. I think the moss stone is really going to help this out. I don't know. Oh, it's stuck in the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> it's like, apparently my bridge is raining cobblestone. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so up here what we're doing is cobblestone at the base with some mossy stone and working all the way up into some andesite with a few dotting ends of stone at the top, which I think is awesome. I think it's going to go very, very well together. I do want to completely redo this top part. I like that little curve shape that we have there, but I think it's a little skinny and I don't think it's decorative enough. So I'm going to spend a good chunk of time here figuring out how we can make those things more interesting. I'm going to start out by getting all this stuff right here, moved over here and texture variated up this whole side of it. And once that's done, I'll be back. I always like to show this as a point of reference for our builds moving forward. So that's where we're working with our oasis right there with our little wandering trader village, which is apparently an Ikea. Yeah, you know, I think the thoughts were in there as I was building my new desk. But anyways, over here is where our castle is right now. As you can see, it's about halfway farther down here. Then we're coming down to the village all the way down there that we did a while ago. But we got a lot of work to do on this place, so we should get back over to it. All right, you don't know how much it pains me to say this. I think I found my new favorite block in Minecraft. I've been using it for quite a long time. I originally thought it'd be really stupid, but holy cow, scaffolding is the best thing ever. This is so nice being able to just throw all this stuff up here. Basically, you just make this middle pillar, you branch out in six blocks each direction that you need to go, and then you just kind of wait at the end and you just kind of keep clicking your scaffolding until a new pillar comes up and then you can keep branching another six. And we got this whole freaking platform built up here and it's so awesome. Look at this. Don't even look at the bridge. Don't look at the bridge. Look at the scaffolding. That's great. <laughs> I love this. I think this thing is so awesome. This is so, so nice. I've been doing a lot of work on the bridge here. The texture variation is in on the lower part completely. And I start working on this second framing bit right here for our top section. I want to make it a bit wider. So I started this one here as well and detailed it out with just a stone brick trim along the bottom. And I've been trying to come up with some sort of unique representation for this thing that looks a little bit more ornate. And what I've come up with so far is basically just having these little hanging things on the side. I don't plan to use wood very much in the build because I think it would take away from the ruined look of making this look super ancient. The wood wouldn't have a way of lasting that long. And I'm going to get this done on the other side, and then we're going to have to figure out what we're doing at this top bit here to make that smoothed out and look nice. I think, honestly, it might be something really similar to this pattern that we have here. Just flip the other way, and it could work really well, but I'm also really liking iron bars being built into this more. Internet is back. I'm ready to go. We got the actual skin back on, and it's so nice. <laughs> it's been a while since we last talked. I was... I had to go through another work day here and, you know, doing the whole pre-recording thing, trying to get everything out to y'all. But yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of work. All of these bits are finished up on the front side and the back side. I like that design we're going with there. I think it's a good one. I've been starting to mess around with what could be up here at the top as well. And I think we can maybe get ourselves up there. But I, I've, now that I have that block out there, that was an accident. But I'm looking at that and being like, that's kind of a cool idea. What I want to do actually, real quick, let's grab this guy. And run back on up here. Let's use an ender pearl that we never really use because now we have scaffolding the best block ever. And we can get on up here. And I was thinking 
now that we have all these things this is supposed to be a ruin after all this is really supposed to be broken down so what if we start coming in here with a bunch of like hmm, maybe not that guy for now i know i have a bunch of these down below but what if we start bringing in a few of them right now and go with like maybe we'll do something like that just to make it oop, that's not the right spot but we do the you and have it coming out over the wood a little bit then we can do something like this and basically that's not an x let's grab that guy and then have this kind of fallen out hmm maybe we just do like a full andesite block right like there and trying to make it look like everything's really fallen all over the place so we can have a bunch of stuff that's not even an andesite block that is a stair there we go <laughs> I am all over the place here, but I was thinking some rambling thing like this where we have these top decorated bits that have kind of the stairs going the all the which ways different stuff like that. So it basically is bam and bam and then there and there and that gives us this little curve pattern like that, which I think is going to be really good. And then here we can do a few going that way. I believe that's right. And then we need a few slabs on top of those. But this guy is pretty much going to be, sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to make sure I get this thing right, is there, and bam, and bam. And that'll protect our railing going all the way across. You can still jump over this point, but I'm totally fine with that. Let me get a few more of these things in place, and I'll be back. The top of our bridge is now done. All the texture variation is in on the bridge as well. I'm really happy with it. I've been messing around quite a bit with adding some extra details under here so it feels a lot more al alive currently without adding in too much in the nature which i do want to add in later today i have quite a few ideas of how we're going to be doing that but right now i've added a few holes in the bridge to bring back that ruin effect i want these pillars to feel very sturdy like they're basically the only thing holding it up but we're missing a giant hole there and you can see all the rubble down there at the base and then this one here is even more massive just a huge chunk of the bridge just fell down throughout it I haven't done too much yet so far as mixing up the top of the bridge all the way up here because I think for now this is okay just to leave as is. I really want to mostly focus on what we're able to view from the pathway and then when we're up here we will add some details to the inner parts of it but I think that'll come more towards the end. Maybe we'll add some Skyrim features in here of having a few barrels dotted around with fresh apples inside them because you know those would definitely be in an ancient ruined fortress. That being said, I'm thinking it's time that we tackle this guy. I think it's time that we kick this off into good old fashioned time lapse mode and see what we can do with our castle watchtower. Yeah, let's go with that. Coming in here now, we're gonna start detailing everything out. And one thing that I wanna start using on this structure straight away that I haven't used anywhere else really in builds is having the main structure framed out by that kind of cobble st or stone brick border that we're seeing here. And that's something that I feel like is very much an ode back to original Minecraft creators. And a lot of the original Minecraft videos have a lot of that going on. I thought it'd be really cool to kind of have this as our ruined castle, having some of those aspects that you see normally in older school Minecraft builds. A lot of things were framed out by stone brick or by wood logs or something along those lines. So I thought it'd be really cool to kind of bring that idea back in here. Now, as you can see, we're really attacking this ruined aspect of it now of really just destroying a lot of things like where on the far side, there might have been a big window up there, completely broke it out and just have this giant massive hole there. Now, I think it's so cool. It really adds a lot of character to this build as we start bringing things around in this area. The outside structure is very much torn apart. There's not really anything left of the wall on that besides a really, really low down wall area. And one thing that I really wanted to start tackling and figuring out here is this tower that we're going to be starting to do here very, very shortly. This one is something that I wish, I think I can come up with a better idea for these moving forward, but I think this one's okay for now, is I really want to make these feel like almost magical spires that are very tall and very ornate and very decorative and a lot of things going on. If you guys are familiar with World of Warcraft, think of like Dalaran and the big giant mage spires and everything there. That's kind of something that I was hoping to get that idea across. I think starting with that three by three circle at the bottom gave a lot of issues with it. So I might need to go in a creative test world and come up with a few more designs, but for now it's a good rough design. What we're doing now though is starting out the terraforming and starting out the landscape transformation down below. I wanted to bring in a bunch of different aspects from birch leaves to a bunch of ferns and grass and actually some berry bushes because I feel like we're headed down to that sweet berry village. So we might as well create some of that here. I'm up here in a ruin keep and adding in a few more extra details, adding some vines and more bushes around this area. And it's really, really starting to come together. I think if we give it a 
while for everything here to grow in. All right, nailed it. <laughs> I think if we give it a while for all of this stuff to grow up in here, I really don't mind if these vines go absolutely crazy and get everywhere because you know, it is supposed to be very overgrown. So that's gonna work out really well for us, but it's starting to look so sweet. Check this thing out. From the ground level, I think it looks even better than when we were looking at it through the time lapse. I think this one's absolutely awesome. It's so great. The detail we have down below, I decided to use a lot of birch leaves around here because I think they'll maintain the color pretty well going across this entire area. And it's looking, it's pretty sweet. I like this one a lot. Next thing I did want to move into though was building up a few more trees and nailing down our lower ground detail areas. I thought it'd be cool if we brought in some spruce leaves and I don't really, they're not supposed to be too big of trees. So I didn't want to bring in any full blocks. We're just going to use some fences as kind of like the leaf structures for themselves. But I was thinking like a few trees just dotted it around, especially down in this area. For some reason, when looking at this right here, I just need a tree right over here. So we take this guy and bring it up. I'm thinking like seven blocks. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then bring you up another two or three. We'll do like that. And then we can do this is supposed to be, and eh, we'll only do two on that top one. So this is going to be pretty wispy. I do want to have it sticking out a little bit more, but I don't want this to be too crazy thickened up or anything like that. So it's okay that it's going to be a little weird. We're just going to make this thing up as we go here. Uh, let's do something like you and then maybe work one at there. And, and that's kind of a mess of leaves right now. <laughs> I think we might want to take a few of these things away, but it's, it's the general idea is here what I want to. I think I just added way too many leaves in there. Well, if we do something like that, that's okay. It still feels a little weird down here at the base, but I, that's okay. Trees aren't supposed to be perfect. That's something I've been trying to tell you all here for quite a while now is that you can you can have trees that look a little weird. It's it's totally fine. In the grand scheme of thing, if a tree looks a little weird, just say it's a little deformed and it's fine. They're not really looking perfect. So something like that will be over here. I think we might want to have less of this base part showing and have more of the tree come down to the bottom moving forward. So that can be one of our taller ones. I was thinking that just frames out the bridge here really nicely, like back in this area, like that just frames out this whole thing so, so nicely. So I'm gonna come through and add in a few more trees dotted around this area, adding some more of that detail bit with some of our birch leaves and everything down at the base. That's what we could do to hide this. That's why I was looking weird is because there's nothing really down here. Okay, now I, now I got it. We're good, we're good. I've added in a few more trees around here and it really got me thinking on something. I've been seeing a lot of other people playing around the, the idea of doing this, but instead of leaving like the end stone wall or some other type of dumb wall that we would never really work with, what do you guys think about changing that into like a wooden log wall? So we could do like an oak log with the wall block model. So it's not like super crazy or anything, but and it's just very simple, but it's like another type of a branch that we could use to build out custom trees and make them a little bit thicker. What do you guys think about that? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn. <laughs> Let me know if that's be something you guys would be interested in seeing. Another thing I wanted to note while we're building up a few more of these guys is if you look at how much detail we have in the grassy plains area and the hills, we have berry bushes, we got ferns, we got grass, we got tall grass, we've got birch leaves and we've got vines on top of the building and not to mention how crazy mixed up our ruined structure of the building is. The way we make this look so much more chaotic and hectic is by on our stone cliff faces themselves like these, we leave it as simply stone. So it's one material instead of having a bunch of mixed up stuff in there as well, it makes the rest of this feel way more chaotic. So when you're trying to build something, leave some parts that are less detailed and it'll make the crazy detailed parts look even more detailed. And there we go. <laughs> I gotta say this place is looking really awesome. I'm super happy with it. I decided to bring in a bunch of our lilacs and also a bunch of the allium retexture that we did with this little shorter lilac basically to make it a much more usable flower. We don't need lollipops standing around the area at all. And it's looking so great. This is, I'm really, really happy with this. Like if you take, if we take an Elytra flight up here, do a good old mumbo jumbo spin around and come and look at it from above. Like you'd see, I'm mostly focused on that strip and a few things over there, but it's really starting to come together. And as you get down here and fly through the area, it's so cool. I'm really happy with this one. I do want to come in here and I'll do it probably here in just a quick sec and adding in another one or two spruce trees right in there and maybe one more of them right over in this guy. So maybe we'll throw like this guy right here and then we can come up here and throw another one right there and a last one right in there. And I think that'll be good for all of those. We didn't need too many of them. 
where right now this side of the bridge just has none and I feel like it doesn't really complete it off very well. So I wanna just add a few of them over in this area. But I think overall, that's probably gonna to have to do it for today's episode. I am a little far behind on trying to get everything pre-recorded for when I'm out of town for the next bit. So thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you on the flip side.